Kirby combos, custom Kirby combos with the hat. And I saw some pretty dope stuff. But none of that, this one is going to be a fun one. We got two floaty characters, so there's going to be a lot of footsies being played. Uh, Kirby has some distinct advantages. One being his ability to edge guard off stage with his multiple jumps. And also, uh, he can go down there, jump on the trampoline, and still has plenty of jumps. Uh-oh, button check. And uh, like I was mentioning, he still has plenty of jumps to uh, give Pac-Man a hard time. Yeah, also, uh, Kirby's struggling. Uh, not very uh, much ground speed given to him. Um, Pac-Man excels at keeping people out. So, mm -hmm. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Brave Remix coming a little bit unprepared. I understand this is Arcadian. There's a lot of pressure on everyone. Everyone blames them being matched up with a PR player as them, that being the reason why they don't advance as far as they do. But no SP tonight. No Mega Fox tonight. No shade to knock you out in the first round. Alone is freaking hosting or alone is running the tournament. What's your excuse tonight, guys? None at all. So I can I feel guess the pressure. Just being too broken. Right? It's just too. It's too broken. Tonight is the night. In any case, Rave Remix KO KO opting for Kirby. Listen, pick a color. I like that he just goes straight. Straight. OG Kirby. I like that. You don't see that too often. Oh, nice conversion off the Galaxian. Um, gets a little bit too cute with the Nair there. Yeah, he over, overextends just a bit, but if he would have got that, it could have potentially led to a stock. Kirby is one to die light. Except for Rave Remix, just uh, creating walls on both sides, making it incredibly hard for Kirby to get in to get anything started. And nice use of the trampoline. Invincible, I think, on frame three. I'm not quite sure about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, you can you tell that Rave Remix practices his setups. You saw that work. You saw the B reverse on the apple throw. You see that he knows the angles in which the fruit are going to launch. And uh, he definitely has some tricks up his book. Ooh, nice yeah. Z drop with the apple there. Um, not sure why KO challenged that. Mm -hmm. Not sure. You saw him tap it earlier. When he first threw the apple, he knew that one more hit and the hydro, the uh, hydrant is just going to fly. Killing Kirby pretty light being one of the lighter characters in the game. So this one is looking like an uphill battle for KO. And Brave Remix reading these approaches with the trampoline here. Um, KO's gonna have the to... orange, cherry. cherry. Are you reset? Oh, but regrabs cherry on the platform. Smart on him. The shield pressure here. The Z drops. It just is just so much beauty. I hate to sound biased and being uh, so deeply focused on what uh, Brave Remix is doing, but if you don't focus. I mean, it is hard to take your eyes off the pack, man. Exactly. Keep your eye on the ball, my friend. That was so adorable. He didn't get any damage from it. Nothing happened. But just the fact that he Z dropped it and it bounced that many times and nothing happened. You just so it's just for showmanship. Now Kirby not too shy of showmanship um, himself. Cherry didn't even know he pulled off the cherry. Conversion, conversion. This is big damage. You can see Ray Remix is starting to pull away. KO is going to have to figure this matchup out and quick. Ooh, nice mix-up on the recovery there. Um, KO having trouble pinning him down. Now, one thing that KO can do is step away from the Hydrant. It looks like he just goes next to the Hydrant and shields it. He doesn't know when Ray Remix is going to launch the Hydrant. And what what that sets up is another spacing opportunity for Ray Remix. Also, uh, not doing uh, enough damage to you over 13%, knocking it to his favor. Yeah, um, KO's going to have to find out a way to get out of his shield. Sadly. Shoot. When he when he goes next to the Hydrant and shields, the, the water just pushes him away. And now it sets up an opportunity for Ray Remix to pull through to set up another the kill here? up throw. Yes, he can. And he gets it. Yeah, just getting some hits here and there. Doesn't give up. He keeps his head in the game. Now, Pac-Man at low percent. Kirby notorious for bringing, bringing it back at low percent combos. Oh, but gets the bell on him. Are you serious? He just clipped this man. If you're in the chat right now, please go ahead and clip that and link it to the San Antonio Smash War page. I want to re-see that. If you or do, watch the Shinji solid. match. Right? <laughs> or watch Shinji. Whichever comes first. Clips this man at the arcade. And KO has got to be a little bit devastated from that, but has to keep his composure if he wants to pull this one out. Nice backer usage. Um, Kale, not too familiar with this matchup. Galactica, I like that. Just to keep Kale in the shield a little bit longer, give himself an opportunity to get stage control. Now, Kale is starting to realize what options he has to use the Hydra to his favor. Um, yeah, definitely. He, he's getting rid of the Hydra much more efficiently, and with the Hydra not being on stage, creating that space in between the two, Kale is able to land grabs, able to land tilts, Tries get to some do of the Captain Falcon to him on his getup, though. <laughs> right? 
but I mean, Kale's uh -oh. slowly bringing this back. Definitely slowly but surely. He's still down the stock, however, but uh, you can see that Rave Remix is not getting the heavy hitting combo setup that he was getting before. It's just here and there. These players are just going back and forth, brawling it out like they're Mario and Luigi. Yeah, Kale trying to cross him up with rolls. I'm not sure how uh, Rave Remix is going to react to that. Um, Tries yeah. to get him with the down tilt there. Yeah, good job blocking the bell. You don't want to get hit with the bell at any percent, let alone when the numbers are starting to turn red. Because at that percent, at any percent where the the numbers are turning red, you don't know what Pac-Man can do. I've seen crazy conversions. I've seen 20 to death. I've seen zero to death. You just saw the reset. You don't want to get hit by anything other than maybe an app. No, sir. Ooh, reads. 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 Right Alright, don't count KO out. He's climbed this far, only a little bit more to go. A few custom oh, combos. Just one grab. Up to he actually got lucky that the hydrogen didn't hit. Good job. Okay. It's big, this is big. Not so, yeah. too big of a deficit here. Ooh, nice up tilt there. What can he do with it? He's got him in the air. Mm -hmm. Pac-Man. Not to remix his favor though. Oh no! That could have been devastating. He gets that roll. And Apple. Oh, he's, gonna, he's gonna hang in there a bit. Hang in. Kale might want to refresh some of his moves for exactly that. Yeah, definitely, definitely a nail biter in this situation. Neither characters want to get hit. Kirby has some amazing combo potential, even uh, later percents. He has the capacity to gimp Ray Remix early on and up air. That kills. Not really. <laughs> yeah. Basically, but in I this like case, that. It will. I like that. When Kirby jumps, there's always a little drawback. Uh, just even though Kirby defies physics, he still follows some laws. When you jump, you got to come down just a bit. Uh, Rave Remix was able to get a read on that. Catches him with the up air, looking very Fox esque. And Kirby, being such a light character, just woo, launched off the top. So good stuff to Rave Remix taking game one. Oh, good choice by um, KO going for the Dreamland counter pick. Um, it's going to disrupt some of the Hydrant plays here. And also give him a lot more uh, vertical KO potential as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, KO has increased his KO potential by incorporating the top platform. I'm not sure what type of custom combos Pac-Man can pull off with the additional platforms. I'd be delighted to see some. I'm sure KO wouldn't, but I would. <laughs> uh, just based on that last bell setup, that was so cute. Uh, nonetheless, to be honest, man, I don't know what what distinct advantages Kirby would have by going to the stage. I'm guessing that this is KO's counterpick, given that he lost game one. Yeah, so, uh, Kirby having a better access to his up up throw. Um, another thing is like the hydrant is not gonna be willy nilly here. Mm -hmm. He has to be a lot more aware of where he places it. Mm -hmm. And some landing options. You saw just on that, even on the last stock, uh, he was running out of options to land. He gets caught with that up air. Uh oh. But gets trampoline in the process. Yeah, he gets trampoline in the process. Trampoline comes out frame one or two, if I'm not mistaken. Not even possible to react to. I know that's for sure. And despite frame data, it is indeed invincible. Yeah, indeed invincible on startup. So yeah, it's it's a really good tool to escape from a lot of the combos that make Kirby a scary character, as you can see once again. We can a lot more aware of what to do to Hydrant here. Oh, but not aware of how the, active it is. Yeah, the hitbox stays active for a really long time. Very uh, reminiscent of King DDD's Gordos. You got to be very careful because the knockback on the Hydrant is not to be slept on. And that was so Diddy Kong S just letting the hydro just hang the hydro just hang there for a bit. Uh, Rave remix well aware of the capacity to kill, just let the hang for a bit, and I like the awareness. Good stuff takes a huge lead. Okay, Hydro not a favorable trajectory for KO here. Uh, Rave remix cementing his lead here. Yeah, he, he's uh, you can see the confidence just running around, you know, just. He has the freedom, he has the space and opportunity to do so much. That's what you don't want to do against a character like Pac-Man. You don't want to give him time to think about what setups he's going to do. You don't want to give him time to get the bonus fruit. You don't want to give him time to set out the Hydra. You want to be all in his face. Yeah, sadly, Kirby with slow aerial mobility and slow uh, dash speed. And she he doesn't really have much of a choice here. Mm -hmm. Ray Remix is definitely making uh, KO play the slow game here. Uh, it's it's not a bad situation for Kirby, given that Kirby, like I said, has that late K 
KO potential with up throw on the top platform and back air. Ooh. Not gonna kill. I like that rising back air though. It uh, looks like he caught Rave Remix off guard. Now, gonna... if he could get the edge guard situation. Good. Oh, nice trump. Last trump. Yeah, it definitely caught me off guard. I'm so I'm sure Rave Remix was not expecting that, as you can see. And Rave Re uh, KO fighting back the Hydrant again. Um, trying to close this up. Yeah, definitely. Um, I know that KO, or Kirby, has potential to close gaps very, very quickly. Uh, Pac-Man does have an exploitable recovery. It's not the best in the game. It's not top tier recovery by any means. So there is also that. And uh, Kirby with multiple jumps can get on the third trampoline hit. If, he, if Kirby does that, Pac-Man will be out of a recovery. Definitely. So I'm looking... Whoa, he was really trying something for there. Really trying something there. I would have liked to see what he had in mind. Pretty sure the hydrant wasn't there just for uh, S's and giggles. Definitely not. Okay, and has one more hit on the hydrant. Has the apple here. Okay, this is a scary situation. If you get hit with the apple or the hydrant, it's potentially a stock. So I can, I respect KO for just standing there waiting for something to happen. Now another thing on the table is that that was so good. Rape Remix is making it difficult for Kirby to do normal things like get on the stage. Like. He's making it difficult for Kirby. And this is what I was missing him before. Kirby hat custom combos with bonus fruit can be absolutely absurd. So let's see if uh, KO has been working on any of these custom combos, is aware of that video, or aware of what the trajectory on the different fruits are. So Sadly, oh, nice ooh. conversion by KO. However, time is not on his side. We have, we're down to almost three minutes and 30 seconds. Definitely, and to be quite honest with you, I wouldn't even mind watch watching Pac-Man just do fun stuff with the fruit and the hydrant for three full minutes. And I'm sure that Ray Remix wouldn't mind just putting on a show for us for the next three minutes. So is going to definitely have to step it up, find a way to close out the stock soon. Ooh, nice jab. Okay, has, has the hydrant off the table. Oh, but lost his power. I didn't know when that happened. Nice way for the roll. You can see that uh, KO is not flustered yet, and that could have been devastating had he got hit down with that belt. Up throw, not no, quite not yet. Rage. No rage. Okay, we're sub three minutes now. KO has yeah. to play a little bit faster here. Is that going to be a kill? Back throw. I like the DI mix-up, though. I would assume that he would be DIing maybe to the left to protect himself from the death of an up throw. KO gets a read on that, throws him to the left. Cherry, yeah, just stay in shield, man. All right, down to the wire. I definitely respect the patient gameplay. If I'm playing against a Rage Pac-Man, he has two socks and I have one. I don't want to give him any more damage than necessary. I just want to land a smash attack or get a grab at the bottom platform, beneath the top platform. Bell, Hydrant, I'm just going to air dodge all that, thank you. Is that and a throw, death. Okay, two minutes left now. Okay, 56%. Kirby is no stranger to closing out gaps. If he gets that one grab or that one up tilt that sets off a chain reaction, this could swing momentum the other way. Oh my god, okay. Air. Neutral air, reads the roll, but limbs are just too short. Maybe if he can grab with his feet. And stop. Oh my oh, god, he gets what? the sour spot there. Gets the sour spot. Ray Remix got to be a little bit hurt about that. Now he has to fight for a little bit longer. Kirby, second chance at life. What will he do with it? Okay, has some pressure there on the platforms. And the Hydrant's about to run out, but runs and into the Hydrant. Can he DI this? Not quite yet. KO obviously DIing towards Ray Remix. And he's stuck. Wow. Again, a third chance at life. You've never seen someone cheat death this many times. I personally have, and if this was Final Destination, I would hate to see what would happen next. Ooh. Death will find you. All right, down throw. Right, we're almost down to less than a minute. All right, this one is going to be close. Neutral air? Neutral air, she'll not taking it. Not taking it quite yet. Uh-oh, he almost got hit with the hydrant. That could have been scary. And so much pressure. Did you see the shield pushback? He didn't even get, have a chance. See it, I felt it. And... Ooh, but oh, nice there. He I liked it. didn't get the I like the Z drop. He has a little bit of tech of his own, I see. Not his first rodeo with item play. And oh. Hydrant. But we have a full rage Kirby. Wow. This is incredible. Is this Kirby or DDD? I can't tell. Yeah. Oh. And right, landing there with 34 seconds left. Oh. 
That was incredible. Incredible patience, incredible tactfulness coming out of Ray Re Rave Remix. You saw some of the setups early on.